to my channel my name is Janika I hope everyone's day is going extremely well mine is so today we have our summer citrus hygiene shower routine oh I got a lot of new products to show y'all in this video we're gonna start it off with our aura hygiene so I'm gonna use my therabreath mouthwash to kick it off and I'm gonna just take a little shot and I'm cracking up at the way that I just drunk it like a beer bottle but anyway switch it around in my mouth and this is something new that I'm trying this is the Dr. Bronner's peppermint toothpaste this is my first time trying it and when I try something for the first time I usually get the travel mini size and I'm gonna be honest about this toothpaste I love the soap of Dr. Bronner's but this toothpaste I don't know it wasn't toothpasting like I'm used to my toothpaste toothpasting if you know what I mean like it wasn't lathering up the way that my Colgate does so I'm probably not gonna purchase that toothpaste again thank god for the mini sizes anyway moving along to my tongue scraper I use this tongue scraper and I go all the way to the back of my tongue and I make sure I scrape for holy goodness and it helps with bad breath when we're brushing our teeth a lot of times we miss our tongue we gotta scrape the tongue okay and then follow that up with mouthwash once again moving along to our facial skincare I'm gonna use my La Roche Posay as a facial cleanser first and foremost cleaning away the sweat and the dead skin cells that accumulate while we sleep and then I'm gonna take a very hot towel and just pat my face dry now it's time to hop i was in the shower and we are going to start off with putting on my exfoliating gloves and using this new body wash that i got this is actually a men's body wash it's from a brand called cremo this is the sea salt and grapefruit body wash and like i said this exfoliating shower routine is going to be for my citrus scent so trying the body wash for the first time and it smells delicious and it also feels delicious because like i said the body wash is also an exfoliant and it smells good and it leaves your skin looking smooth and bright and glowy and men's self-care items like lotions and body washes and deodorants always seems to last longer than women so now when i see men's items that i feel like i can finesse to my scent i'm gonna do it moving along to shaving i use these big razors that i've been using for years years now it's kind of like a backup razor for me when i just need to go ahead and just hit the hot spots get it out the way and i use this eos shave cream does anyone recommend laser hair removal i'm like two seconds away from going ahead and biting a bullet and just getting that anywho staying in our citrus realm i'm going in with this new dr bronner's hemp citrus bar soap and y'all look at the way that this soap lathers like this is why i love dr browner so much and honestly this is what i was expecting from the toothpaste i wasn't expecting the toothpaste to not lather as well as this soap just lathered on my skin do you feel what i'm saying do you get what i'm talking about i love me some dr browners okay i started off with the unscented soap when i first figured out who he was when i discovered him i made my way onto the peppermint soap I explored the depths of the eucalyptus body wash and now I have made my way onto the bar soap of the hemp citrus and let me tell you 
I'm a fan of Dr. Bronner's soap, okay? So afterwards, of course, wash the soap off. Make sure I get up under my arms. Make sure I wash off all the exfoliant, the EOS Shave Cream, the Citrus Bar Soap, and we are going to move on along to our feminine hygiene. And for our feminine care today, I'm using these two products. First is my Summer's Eve Fragrance Free Wipe, and I'm just gonna wipe front to back to make sure I get anything that I may have missed while in the shower and then I'm moving on to my ingrown hair serum so because I shaved I want to make sure I put this ingrown hair serum under my arms and then I'm gonna move it down to my bikini area as well because it's just something that I put on every day to help with any ingrown hairs that might want to try to sneak up on me now it's time to take care of my facial hair I also slick want to get my facial hair removed but I don't know I may not so anyway I use this near ready wax strip for my upper lip hair and it is a really simple easy process it's just like already wax on the strip you just place it on your skin and then you peel it off within like 10 seconds it's pretty quick pretty easy pretty painless if you miss a spot you could still use that same wax strip up to two times i just went back in and i just got whatever spot that i missed and it's like two strips in one so one strip for one side and one strip for the other side and i'm a bit dramatic it really didn't hurt as bad as i'm making it look but ooh. Like, it's just a mental thing. It's a mind thing. Anytime you have to put something or wax something off of your face or your body, it's like, oh, I hate the feeling. So after waxing, I just want to smooth it down with my vitamin E oil. And because it's a girl wake the fuck up routine, we are going to also make sure we just take care of our brows. So we know we have the hair that grows up under our brows. Now I'm like, dang, do I need to get microbladed as well? It's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot going on that I wanna just like kinda speed up my beauty process and my maintenance routine. After cleaning up my brows, I'm sticking to the citrus and I'm gonna go in with this vitamin C Naturium facial serum and then follow it up with this elf eye cream this is what i want to do before i put on my moisturizer this eye cream is something new i've had dark circles under my eyes forever so i'm going to see how well this product works for me and then we're going to wrap it up with our moisturizer and sunscreen so for moisturizer i'm using this la roche pose moisturizer that i've been using it is like a double repair moisturizer that works so well on my skin it helps with the glossy look that i love and then i'm going to wrap it up seal it all in with this super goop unseen sunscreen really love this sunscreen move it on down to your neck no white cast and then i'm going to go in and take care of my lips so this is a lip mask also from e.l.f. that I got recently. The mask is extremely nourishing and moisturizing so far. I'm gonna also have to update you all on the mask later on. And then moving on to our body care. These are some of the products that I'm using to take care of my body. And yes, that Lumi is new. I cannot wait to tell you all about it. But first and foremost, I'm gonna start off with my Donna Karen deodorant. It's something about that Donna Karen antiperspirant, okay? Stop the sweat. That is what I need that deodorant for. Stop the sweat. Next, moving on to my Nivea Body Serum. And this is a before and after. Like, do y'all see the glow that's on my right arm that I'm now mixing into my left arm? That serum from Nivea is so exquisite. And let me tell y'all why. Because... You guys know we have the Necessaire Serum as well, but that serum is like $45. This Nivea Serum, the body serum, baby, it was only like seven or $8. And it works and looks so much better on my skin and lasts all day. So I mix it in with this Osea Body Butter and because it's our citrus scent, you all know I love me some Osea and I love the citrus scent. It is perfect for the summertime. Now we're gonna move on to my Lumi whole body deodorant this lumi has been going crazy on tiktok so i was like let me just go ahead and try it and y'all that lumi when i say last all day i didn't smell okay 
I did not smell. If you've been questioning whether you want to try Lumi, of course this video is not sponsored, but I would give Lumi a try, especially like under your arms, under your breast, under your boobs if you have bigger breasts, under your butt cheeks if you have bigger butt cheeks, in between your thighs. Use that whole body deodorant. And to wrap this whole routine up, I'm gonna finish with ear care and nail care. Use a Q-tip to clean my ears, y'all. It feels like an eargasm. I love cleaning my ears out. And then use my cuticle oil to place on my cuticles to make sure my hands is all smooth and soft and dainty and girly for the rest of the day. Oh, I almost forgot. Perfume. This is my Warm Cashmere Scent by Philosophy. It gives like that vanilla extra cherry on top to a nice citrus scent for me and I just love it. Chef's kiss for my scent today. Fixing up my hair. My last step is to make sure I look good, feel good before I'm off to start my day. Thank you all so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more self-care tips, reviews, and hygiene routines. I'll see you all next time.